Hello, buddy. It's the Kill Doll here, and today, uh, luck in the crate. Once again, I do believe I, I don't even remember what episode this is. I'm just not gonna say the episode anymore. But yeah, so you can see I'm using the in-game chat volume. But also before I get started, I'm sorry I didn't have the game or like the um video of me actually unlocking this. So instead of having the commentary, I have to use in-game. So I can actually tell if I'm actually doing it perfectly or not for the timing. Yeah, but anyway, uh, for uh, the for question, a uh, question for you for this video. What do you guys think of the ways to get the new weapons? I mean, like the uh, pistol, the st the sword, and the M1 Grand. Oh, and the crossbow. I almost forgot about the crossbow. Yeah, but what do you think about that? Go in the Brack Market, selling your COD points, or you're using up all your crypto keys. What do you guys think of that? Do you, you like that idea or no? Or do you like the old-fashioned one with the actually first weapon that ever came to Call of Duty from a DLC was the Peacemaker? What do you guys think about that? But, anyway, uh, before we get started, uh, what do you guys think about the Peacekeeper? Well, Peacemaker, whatever the heck it was called back then, I don't even remember. It's been like a two or three years since I used to play the uh, Black Ops. Yeah, but uh, anyway. Yeah, I hope you really enjoy what I have here. But also, one more thing to point out. When I got this, or when I opened this, shut up, you fucking queer. You and Activision are making the game shittier. Anyway. It isn't because I got an epic, it's just what I got out of it. I got two legendaries, as you can see, a prophet taunt, and a outrider head, and a battery uh, body, which I actually did record, but the way I worded one thing that I saw or heard, I didn't really like how it sound. Yeah, but uh, anyway... We are going to check out all three of these. Thank God they're not weapons. Otherwise, it'd take a little longer. Yeah, but let's check out the profit body for... Or profit, yeah, sure. Battery body. As you can see, I have it equipped with the Victory Helmet. I mean, I actually like the look of this. This is actually pretty nice. A nice purple all around the armor. I mean, let's compare it to Victory, see? It has a little more purple on it. I just like the look a lot better. I just think next episode, I'm going to have the uh, Genius uh, Head 2 for uh, Battery. But that's probably not going to happen. But let's move on to the Outrider Head. See, I haven't even worked on him yet. I mean, in my opinion, this looks pretty nice. It looks okay, though. Well, actually, not nice. It looks okay, but it's not the best. I mean, there's probably a few things I'm... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to say what I changed about that because it's kind of weird. Yeah, but, eh, this is uh, okay. It's not great. It's just okay. Anyway, let's go on to the Prophet Taunt, which I already equipped it because I thought it was pretty nice. That sensation impending extinction, like. I kind of like it. It's better than the, uh, you know. With these upgrades, you never stood a chance. Way better. But surprisingly, this is, I do believe, the third? Yeah, it's the third. No, I know it's the fourth. Fucking top first place on, because I have one for Reaper, one for Spectre, and one for Firebreak. Oh, my bad. Actually, I... Oh, no, it was Nomad. That's the one I had. It wouldn't require a cleaner to take you out. A janitor would suffice. I'd really love to see these in a fucking match. Yeah, <sighs> this sounds pretty nice. You never stood a damn chance. Yeah, uh, anyway, sorry for making having that hat for having you listen to the three other ones I have. Before I end this, I got a epic camo for a gun. As you can see, is the ice camo for Gorgon and whatever the heck okay. that. Or the one of the new things for uh well bodies for profit. 
I like the body, but I'm not going to be showing that. I'm just going to be showing the ice camo. As you can see here, it looks pretty nice. I'll admit that. It looks really, really nice. Yeah, well, this is... And also, some of you are wondering. No, I don't put the Rapid Fire mod on uh, Gorgon, but anyway. Well, that's the end of this part, and I'll let myself finish off this video. But, yeah. Anyway, what do you got... Like I said before, what do you guys think about the uh, whole RNG based uh, shit with the black market in the three wep in the four weapons actually? In my opinion, it's gay that you have that some people just spend over a hundred bucks on these stupid cod points in order to try to get the guns and the and knife. I mean, it's just nerve wracking. How retarded the way you get guns now in video games is just just really really no point I mean like it has the same basis the borderlands but hey at least you can go fight one person and have a little fun trying to get it this oh yeah let me go just grind matches and just spend my cod points or let me just go and uh, sell my house sell my other game consoles and spend it all on COD points. I mean, it, this is just way too far. Triarch, if you watch this video ever, please bring us back the old fashioned, you know, for the DLC weapons. Not this bullshit with, oh, yeah, we're just gonna put it in the game, but you have to go and grind shit in order to get it. But like I said, with Borderlands, it's fun. This, at times, you can just. You just fucking pop a nerf, you know, just, usually sometimes just pop a blood vessel, just strike a nerve. It just gets really, really irritating. Thank you, Destiny, for ruining the entire experience of having DLC weapons. Thank you, Activision, for being such a piece of fucking shit. For having this. Small little feature to get your ass some more fucking money. Take tips from Rockstar, you pieces of fucking shit. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thank you guys for watching. Also, for the question, leave it down in the comments below. Also, if you did enjoy the video and like what I do, or if you have any suggestions, leave it down below. Not some stupid shit like some people have done. Yeah, but uh, anyway... As a famous YouTuber would say, as always, I hope you enjoy.